Hi, I'm Kate Kruger. I'm the manager of the Clinical Cancer Genomics Laboratory. We are an important part of the diagnostic care team for patients with leukemia. We look for the genetic aberrations that are causing the patient's leukemia. Knowing the genes involved allows us to characterize the exact type of leukemia, their prognosis, and what treatment is most likely to be successful. We do this using a variety of techniques that look at the DNA or RNA of the patient's cells at a varying level of resolution. The oldest technique that we use is called traditional karyotyping, where we're looking at the entire genome in large blocks. We take a patient's sample of either marrow or blood and entice them to grow. Then we use chemicals to arrest the cells during replication in mitosis, where the DNA is most condensed in chromosomes. We make the microscope slides and then add more chemicals to reveal a characteristic banding pattern. Then the highly trained technologists put the detective hats on to solve the puzzle, matching, comparing, and categorizing aberrations in the chromosome numbers and structure. The next technique we use is called FISH, or fluorescence in situ hybridization. Now the FISH detectives look at much smaller chunks of DNA, covering one or two known oncogenes. These technologists work in low light because they need to see the fluorescent signals highlighting the locations and number of the target genes. We also have the techniques where we don't look at the genetics of individual cells, but rather we look at the full mixture of the DNA or RNA from a tumor, looking at the full genomics. So these technologists get an even closer look at the smaller segments of the genome. Using CGAT, or Chromosome Genomic Array Technology, we can screen the entire genome for aberrations that can contribute to the leukemia. And with NGS fusion assays, we can screen for translocations that would be hidden otherwise by karyotyping. We are always on the forefront of new technologies, such as OGM, or optical genomic mapping. These have great promise to tie together many of the strengths of each of the other technologies.